Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. Now welcome to my Spurs Manchester United um, re preview, review, preview. This is a preview of course. Um, any of you who don't know, I'm a Manchester United supporter. So my fellow Manchester United fans, I just don't see how we win. But I just don't see how we don't lose this game. We are rank outsiders for this match and that's a sad realisation. But you know what? Even if we do lose, even if we get fresh today, I won't be disheartened. Now, if Mourinho was still in charge, I would have been heartbroken. I'd be ranting and raving on my video after the game. But I'm not going to do that because I know under Sir Alex Ferguson, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer and Mickey Phelan, this team will run a million miles and put their foot in and try and play great attacking football to win this game. Their mindset will be to win, not to draw, but to win. But we have um, we have problems. We've got Phil Jones in defence. Um, look, Phil's a really good defender, but he's injury prone. He's been in and out of the team, and that just hasn't helped his confidence. I don't like all the memes and uh, memes, should I say, and the piss takes of him online. I do laugh at them sometimes, but it is cruel. Imagine if that's you, and he's not a mercenary, he's not a bad person or anything, and he really doesn't deserve it. So I hope he has a brilliant game and shoves it down all of our throats. But what a tough game. So, Mauricio Pochettino, press conference, saying that he was with his goalkeeping coach in 99, watching the final, how he cheered when Oli scored, how he respects Sir Alex Ferguson. Listen, a lot of people have seen this. Like he's saying, come and get me, Man United. This is not what he's doing. He's distracting. All the attention's on Oli. He's trying to put all the pressure on Oli. But let's not forget here, the pressure's on Spurs. It's Spurs that are at home. Well, Wembley. And what about Spurs fans, if you're watching, what a mess is that? You were meant to go into your new stadium at the start of the season. And they're saying March now. And it might, look, you're not going into that stadium until next season, if then. That's the way I see it. But anyway, it's Spurs that are the favourites. The pressure is on Spurs. Man United can go and enjoy their football because we are. It's, it's, it's like Burnley coming to play Spurs. Rank outsiders, nobody expects us to do anything. I think we will play well. We will try, which is the bare minimum all Man United fans expect. But I just don't see how we don't lose this game. Defensively, we're very problematic, and it's not just the way we set up, it's not just the personnel we have in defence. Oli is very attack minded, and that will leave spaces, and we're just not catered. The only way we don't lose this game is if Kane and co miss a bunch of chances, and maybe we can put a few away. But as I say, that won't, that doesn't destroy, look, that doesn't destroy the feel good factor of what's going on at Manchester United. What will? There will be a few people, fickle people out there. Oh, you know, this shows that Oli can't do it, blah, blah, blah. I like this setup. I like this setup of Sir Alex Ferguson, um, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, and Mickey Phelan. That's what the structure is now. Fergie was even going to training yesterday. Funny how a bunch of teams started getting nervous as they were playing once they saw that video because people are nervous because he's making the big decisions. And um, with Oli and Mickey Phelan as his trusted lieutenants, that's the way I see it. Some people just won't accept that. Um, but I am excited about this game. I'm also dreading it. I'm nervous as well. It is a nervous situation. Now, a lot of fans are saying, I've noticed, oh, we have to win. Even a draw's not good enough. No, listen to me. Yeah, normal Man United situation, we have to win to progress to fourth or try and get closer to Chelsea. It's a difficult situation because we only started our season once Oli came in. That's the truth of the situation. And then you've got an uphill struggle. But let's see what can happen. And I'm watching Liverpool as well. I want to I want to reduce that points total and the points gap between them and us because that's embarrassing. What is it, about 16 points at the moment? No, 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 no. I want to be about five points behind them by um, March or April. I know that's a lot to ask, but who knows in football? We've got to play them. Maybe we'll make a couple of signings. I don't know. On the signing front, so many rumours. Pinch of salt, everyone. Who knows what's going on? We did shock everyone with Sanchez last year. 
Um, but when you look at Sanchez and you look at what's happened and the way Mourinho played him, um, after all that excitement, we haven't really seen much from him. And I'm hearing he's not travelling today with the squad. But that's another thing. All these match day rumours and who's travelling and who's not. Let's wait and see who turns up. I mean, I don't take anything as read, no pun intended, until I see that team sheet. So you're going to get your rumours. This one's not travelling. That one hasn't travelled. Of course, they would have travelled already because it's to London. But yeah, um, it's Pochettino versus Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. It's going to be a formidable battle. It's going to be, I'm hoping it's at least going to be one of those classic games. It could be a high scoring game. Spurs do have a good defence, by the way, but it's going to be interesting because they outclassed us at Wembley last year. I remember we played, it was a midweek game. I expected us to be competitive, not necessarily win, but I didn't expect us to lose that game. And we did. They outclassed us. I don't want to see that again this year. I want to see us being competitive, going for them, creating chances, whipping the ball into the box, threading balls in. I want to see us competitive. And I want to see Marcus Rashford up front doing his thing. I want to see Martial linking up with Rashford. I want to see all. Even if we lose, I want to see the play we have seen already under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And I hope that we do. Predictions, predictions, predictions. Right. I think I should just be hopeful and positive and say Manchester United 3-2 scoring a third goal in injury time. How about that? And when I come back later, we'll see what happens. Now, there's still a lot of people who are on this. They don't know what they're doing front. Still going on about the board, um, talking about um, sticking plasters, sticking plasters on open wounds. Look. The board have made mistakes. No one can hide from that. All boards, all people in life who have got responsibility towards things make mistakes. Now, I have no doubt that these people will, will sell this club in the next six months. I have no doubt we're going to be bought by very, very wealthy trillionaires. There's no question about that. Right now, the club, as far as I'm concerned, is being run by Sir Alex Ferguson again. I think he's taking total control and making big, big decisions. Basically, he's running the club until the new owners come in. That's what it seems to me. So at the end of the day, anything is a bonus right now because we're not the club we want to be. But once this club is sold and once we can get the manager and the director of football we want in, slowly, slowly, we can get back to where we want to be.